Hi guys, this is going to be a quick video on the Nova OSD and I'm going to show you exactly how I go about wiring my one in. Um, I'm sure there's more than one way of doing this but this is what works for me and we'll quickly step through it. Okay, first things first, this is the IR sensor on the Bixler. Now I'm not going to take that off because that's going to be too much of a drama but for the most part I've taken the OSD out of the aircraft so I can show you exactly how I've wired it in. This is the front of the aircraft and it's pointing in the right direction um, that's probably the most important thing this is where I have it located anyway um, I've got my GoPro and my camera mounted up front um, I haven't got the GPS mounted but normally my GPS sort of sits around about here um, and what I'll do is now I'll uh, just show you exactly how I go about wiring this in okay, so I'm going to take the camera out uh, but we don't actually need the GoPro so what I'll do is just detach that and show you exactly how I go about wiring this in Okay, so what I'm going to do now is step through uh, the connections that I use and how I go about connecting things. It's pretty straightforward, but you just need to pay a bit of attention in terms of how you go about connecting things. The first thing you need to be careful of is the um, GPS, the GPS itself. It comes with this really tiny connector and another connector in there. Now, these two connectors are different, so you need to make sure you orient these the correct way. The GPS will actually connect in here like so so now we have the GPS connected and what we'll do we'll step through the rest of it now next thing we want to connect up is the reset menu switch and the way to orient that is make sure the black is pointing up and that connects into the first point then you've got four of these extension leads okay now with these ones, the negative is actually the brown, and um, you want that one pointing down. So the first one connects here, and that's going to go plug into your receiver where your ailerons go. So that's your aileron servo. The next one plugs in here. That also goes to your receiver, and that's going to plug into your elevator servo. Now the next two pins, we're going to skip those, but what's going to happen is in that... Um, what is it, the fourth pin, you're going to connect your aileron servo into the OSD and the next pin is going to be your elevator servo connected to the OSD. Okay, so what we have is the next connector, once again with the orange pointing up. So we've skipped two of them. That's going to connect up to your flight mode, which will basically have the aircraft in normal mode in terms of you'll be actually in control of it. Uh, the next mode is going to be when you flick the switch on your radio, it'll go to PA mode, uh, and then following the, the third position will be your return to home mode. And then what you also have is another one, which will also connect to another channel on your radio, and this one will be connected to a um, two-position switch or a toggle switch, and what that'll do is basically... Uh, uh, go through your different display modes, as in you can have the OSD display off, um, you can have your different variations of the OSD on, so you can change the display while you're in flight. So that's what that's for. So basically, these four leads will connect, these four here will all connect to your receiver, and these two are for your, first one is your aileron, followed by your elevator servos plug into here. Uh, these two were left blank. So next, th next thing we have is the current sensor. And that'll plug in over here like so. And obviously you connect your battery in and that goes out to your um, ESC. Uh, then finally what you have here is, excuse the massive cable on this thing, your um, camera and that'll connect up into uh, this second connection over here. Now the way to orient this is, um, this is the way my switch looks. We've got your negative, your positive and your video cable um, and that'll basically connect with the white pointing up. Now the other thing to note is, I've actually got a jumper, I'm not sure how well you're going to see this, but I have a um, jumper, that's it, right over here which is connected to pin 1 and 2 not to pin 2 and 3 uh, you can read the manual for that it depends whether you're using two batteries or one I'm only using the one battery configuration in this 
So that's the way the camera is orientated. Now the camera is going to be receiving power directly through this board. Okay, so all three cables are connected to your camera itself. Okay, then um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Next, we get on to the video transmitter. That gets a little bit more complicated, but it's not too bad. So what you have here is your power supply to the transmitter. You're going to need to have your positive and your negative, and that'll connect to um, the connector in here. And what you also need is down this end, um, I only really need, really need to use two of these cables, and that's all I'm actually using. My, my configuration is slightly confusing, but ignore that red wire coming out. That red wire feeds power to the camera. We're not going to be feeding power to the camera via the um, transmitter. So the way I've got it configured, if I can show you this, is if you can imagine, um, I'll hold this up. Okay, if you can imagine, I've got this negative going to here to the negative um, power in for the uh, transmitter and the positive I've also got going to the power in for the transmitter. Okay. Next, I've also got the negative connected to this black lead here which is the video ground and the positive I haven't got connected to the positive here. I'll skip that one. What I've got is the video cable, which is the white here, connected to the video in on this one, which is the yellow on the actual um, transmitter. So basically what I'm doing is feeding black to black, positive here to positive here, which is red to red. I'm also feeding black to here, which is the ground wire for the video um, in. And I'm also using the white cable, which is connected to my yellow here. Okay then, so hopefully that makes sense. And that also connects like so in here. So you can see the orientation of all my cables. We've got the white white that's orientated that way. Um, the orientation for this we won't worry about, but that's already determined by your um, IR sensor. That's where the IR sensor connects up. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Okay. You're going to have to excuse my really bad attempt at trying to illustrate this. But what we've got here is the transmitter, a picture of the transmitter, and the wiring that we're going to use to wire this guy up. So the middle wire here is the red. And then that'll actually go across and connect up to the red over here. So we've got red to red. Okay, so that's your positive. The negative will go this way. We'll jump over this guy and go straight to your negative. So they're not obviously touching, okay then? Um, just the way they've illustrated here. So you've got positive to positive, negative to negative, okay then? So the next thing we want is to also provide the uh, video in. Now this is the video signal, this is the wire that carries the video signal, that goes straight to the yellow. So that's connected straight to the yellow. What we also need to do is get the negative wire to branch off and connect up to the negative here. And that's it. We don't need to use the positive wire here at all. So that's the way I've got mine wired up. I hope that makes sense. So what we've got is negative to negative that goes over here and it also goes to the negative here. We've got the positive that feeds into the positive to power this unit over here. And then we've got the um, video signal wire that goes to the video signal wire here, which is that one there. So hopefully this kind of makes sense. And obviously the camera just plugs straight in. Um, that's pretty much the way I've got mine wired up. I hope that was of use. I hope I haven't confused people, but I've tried my best to keep this as simple as possible. If you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to um, add your comments or ask further questions, and I'll do my best to try and answer them. But look, I'm pretty new to using this OSD too, so I'm by no means the expert. I'm sure there are a million and one ways of actually wiring this this. Um, OSD up, but this is the method I'm using and it's working. I've got no interference in the video I'm not using any LC filters or anything like that whatsoever So there you go. Thanks for watching